So hello everyone welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and in this video I am going to talk about how you can automatically create a related record in this case I am going to create a contact automatically whenever an account is created right so as you know in the previous video I talked about how we can create related record whenever we create a record on Salesforce screen flow so we are going to do the same but in record triggered flows so it's like whenever account is created we need to create a contact as well and relate that particular contact with the account right so this flow is very simple and the intent is also simple this flow I am creating for the beginner audience who just started learning Salesforce flows, right? They always have this query like how to create a related record. So that's why I'm doing it. Without any delay, let's get started. So first of all, I will move into flows and this time I'm going to use the setup. Although I already told you about how you can do this with the help of Salesforce Inspector plugin like by using the shortcut over there right I can simply click on this create button and click on flow so for now as you can see these are the type of flows that we have I'm going to build a record triggered flow so I'm going to select record triggered flow over there and click create so the situation that I told you whenever an account is created you need to create a related contact all right so how you need to think on which object I should write a flow or I should create a record triggered flow so understand the scenario whenever the account is created create a related contact that means what is the triggering condition triggering condition is the creation of account record right so whenever account is created we are going to create a contact so basically the trigger will initiate from the account record so that's why we are going to select account over there and then I'm going to select configure trigger that is going to be a record is created then basically you are going to provide the condition so for now just we are going to leave it as it is and then optimize the flow for fast field update I told you whenever you need to update the same record which triggers the flow you need to select fast field updates but whenever we need to send an email we need to use any kind of action or let's say we need to send create related records we need to select action and related records over there and that's it so if you are a beginner and want to learn salesforce flows then i created a course for absolute beginners who want to learn salesforce flow from scratch this course contain more than 80 plus tutorials and 40 plus hours of content so if you are interested to learn flows make sure you check out the course link is given below into the description of this video then what we have i'm going to do i'm going to click on this plus button and type here create records right so what i am going to i'm going to type create contact and then I have option like okay how many records to create I'm going to create a single record then how to set the record fields use all value from a record or use separate resources and literal values so for the first option you need a record variable and which is of type contact right but in this case I don't have any so I am going to use the second option use separate resources and literal values where I am going to tell my flow okay create this particular object record so I am going to select the second option and as I told you we need to provide the inputs to which record we are going to create so we are going to create account record here I am going to select account and then I am going to provide the field so as you know last name is mandatory so we are going to provide last name as well email first name etc like that right so what I'm going to do here I'm going to type first name sorry instead of account I need to provide contact here so I'm going to select contact then I'm going to type first name similarly last name then I'm going to provide let's say maybe email right so these are the values that I'm going to provide in this so let's say in this I'm going to provide some static values let's say static maybe test test last name and email let's say test at the rate test.com correct now what I'm going to do I'm going to click on save let's say create contact when account is created I'm going to save this flow and let's say I'm going to activate it as well so there is one thing missing that I purposely left it out just to let you know or let you understand 
that particular concept right so for now what I am going to do I am going to create one account let's say click on new and here I'm going to type let's say geeky trails private limited maybe small forms private limited and that's it I'm going to click on save okay we also need to provide the email let's say shubham at the rate geeky trails dot com and click on save and I am getting kind of error so this says like okay uh, phone field cannot be null okay so I have a validation uh, basically a record triggered flow which prevent me to save a particular contact if I don't have the phone populated over there so what I will do I will move back to my flow and on to the contact I am going to add the phone you don't need to do that the reason is uh, I didn't add into my flow and there is a flow that is active in my salesforce org in your org there is no flow which prevent uh, contact creation if the phone number is not provided right so you don't need to worry about and you will also not get this type of error so right so it's a learning how to understand that particular errors or how to resolve it so here I'm going to provide a value and let's say I'm going to click on save as to create a new version of the flow and then activate this flow right so if I go back to new account and try saving this so you can see now the account is created and I am also going to show you context so right now you can see there are no contacts related to this particular account right because the reason is if I move back to my flow we did not provide any condition or any uh, field which basically relate our account and contact so what is the field so how contact and account are related with the help of account ID this that is a lookup field on contact object so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you something let's say if I move to contact so that test contact is created but not related with that particular account so if I click on new this week so here you can see test test last name correct so these are the random names that we provided right so what I'm going to do I'm going to add one more field here that is called account ID and now how I need to populate this particular account ID we have a special record global variable in our Salesforce flow which store the record which triggers the flow so as you know this particular account that is geeky trails private limited is created right so this particular record will be in the record global variable so now what I'm going to do I'm going to type record here so here you can see global variable and under global variable we have record global variable I'm going to type click on it and here I'm going to simply select ID because this will provide me the account ID so now if I say, click on save as and hit save again and activate this particular flow now this time this flow will basically add the context to that particular account so this is just the concept that I want to teach you with the help of this particular tutorial and now let's see if I move to accounts and create a new account let's say Shubham private limited and also let's say email Shubham at the rate company.com and hit save so right now this time you can see the contact is created under my newly created account right so now you have also one question like okay so these naming conventions are not good so let's make it dynamic right so what I'm going to do I'm going to type here let's say automated contact for which particular and in the last name what I'm going to type I am going to type the account name correct so how I can provide the account name by using record global variable record dot name so now the name will be uh, dynamic right and also in the email I am going to use the record dot email that is from the account object so we don't have any email standard field over account right this is just a custom field that is added by me for some scenarios but I'm using in this particular scenario as well so I'm using that so that I will get the dynamic values I'm going to click on save as and hit save again 
and let's click on activate and let's try to create one more account that's a new let's say geeky trails inc and i'm going to type let's say geeky trails dot inc shubham at the rate correct now i am going to hit save so now if you closely see automated contact and the geeky trails inc is the dynamic value that is coming from the account record similarly you will see the email is populated similar to account so that's how you can provide the dynamic values into your related contact or whatever the related record you are going to create so i hope this you will learn few new things from this tutorial especially if you are a beginner right if you are intermediate and expert so this video is not that much helpful to you but the intent of this video is just for the beginners so i hope you like this particular video right and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you